Why, hello there. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial for this very mermaid goth inspired look. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. So to start off, I'm going to be priming my eyes and I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original shade. I've already cleansed and moisturized my skin off camera. And for that, I just used some Burt's Bees cleansing wipes, which are really, really nice. New favorite of mine. They leave my skin feeling really soft. And for my eyes today, I'm using this beautiful purple shadow here from House of Beauty. And this is in the shade Fearless. And to apply it, I'm going to be using this Real Techniques brush. And for this first color, it doesn't matter if you're messy or not because we will be blending it out with another color soon. So now that my eyes are all purple, I'm gonna be taking a color from the Edward Scissorhands palette by Sugar Pill. And this is called Heart Shaped Cookie. It's my favorite transition shade. So I'm taking that on another Real Techniques blending brush and I'm just gonna blend out that purple. Now for the under eye, I'm gonna be taking the Kat Von D lip liner in the shade Roxy. Then once that's on there, I'm going to be blending it out with another Real Techniques brush and some of that House of Beauty shadow on top. And now for the final step for the eyes, I'm taking this beautiful Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Sea Siren. I'm going to put that right on top. I love that this is such a beautiful duochrome color and it looks really nice over the purple. So next, there was some fallout from that purple eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna take a foundation brush and get all that fallout off my face. And now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And now that I've got my basic shape down, I'm gonna use my other NYX Liquid Liner. This is the Epic Ink Liner, and this has a much sharper tip. So this helps get really super sharp lines. And I find that the best trick when doing your eyeliner to make it look really super perfect is to not breathe. If you're breathing, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> In all seriousness though, I do hold my breath whenever I do my winged liner. So now that the eyes are all done, it's time to move on to the face. And first, I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just gonna put that all over my face, make sure there's nothing on my hands so I don't rub extra eyeshadow or eyeliner into my face. And now for foundation, I'm taking my Fenty Pro Filter in the shade 120. And I don't know if this happens to you guys as well, but I have little cracks around the edges of my mouth, so if I don't get the foundation in there, you can really tell. So, in order to prevent it cracking, I get to do this really attractive face and put the foundation in there. It makes me look like a turtle, but it works. And I'm actually not gonna use any concealer under my eyes today. I'm just gonna take this brush, that's a concealer brush, I'm just taking the foundation and kind of blurring out the edges to make it look a little more seamless underneath my eyes. I am, however, going to put some Laura Mercier powder underneath, just some translucent powder to set my under eye. And for my contour, I'm going to try this Lancome contour stick, and this is in the shade Ivory. And then on top of that, I'm taking my Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow in the shade Cashmere Coat. For highlighting, I like to use a bunch of different highlighters because I really like to look very glowy. So I'm taking the Fenty Beauty highlighter first in the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal duo. And I'm taking the Lightning Dust first, it's the more subdued highlight. I'm putting that on my nose, on my chin, Cupid's bow, and start to put some highlight on my face. Then I'm taking the House of Beauty highlighter in Self Reflect. And now I'm going to do my brows using my LA Splash Brow Mousse in the shade Dahlia. Sometimes to add a little extra dimension to my brows, I put a shadow in them after I use my brow mousse. So that is what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to be taking this really dark brown cool tone shadow from Sephora right here and putting that towards the tail end of my brows. It's a very subtle difference, but I tend to notice it more, so it makes me happy. <laughs> and now for eyelashes, I'm taking these Ardell Double Up Eyelashes in the Double Wispies. And I'm going to be using my favorite eyelash glue by House of Lashes. 
And I love using tweezers because that way I can kind of pinch the false lash with my natural lash so there's no space in between them. And that makes it look really natural. And for lipstick, I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Amethyst. So now for the final step in my makeup routine is this. I know the bottle looks a little squished. <laughs> it got squished while traveling, but this is the NYX Matte Finish Spray. And now I'm gonna go put on my wig and I'll be right back. And this fabulous wig is from divatress.com. If you'd like to see where to get this wig, I will leave a link to it down in the description box. Real quick, I noticed that the liquid suede lipstick is not doing so well right away. I tried to put on a couple of coats to make it really opaque. It does not feel good. So I would recommend using a different lipstick if you have one. So I'm a little bit disappointed by this guy. And this is the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my mermaid goth-inspired tutorial, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!